hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i have a bit uh, simple but an important video for you guys today we are going to look at the most commonly asked question in the interviews uh, and these are my personal experiences uh, throughout my journey so what I've done is categorized uh, all the questions into each section and I'm going to start with sorting for me I've been asked this question uh, in almost every interview for example they will give me an uh, array and will throw in some conditions and uh, will ask me to sort that array uh, within the boundaries of those conditions so let's start one by one in this video i will uh, show you how to implement quick sort i've already opened up uh, xcode and we'll add our unsorted array then let's create a function called uh, quick sort uh, it will have one integer array as a parameter and it will return the sorted array at the end now in quick sort the catch is that you need to have a pivot which you can say is the center of an array uh, and from there you break the array into two uh, left and right so for that let's create uh, three more arrays less uh, less value equal value and greater uh, value now by the names you can already tell uh, what values will go in each array now we'll create a condition that if parameter array uh, it count is greater than one uh, after that we will uh, decide the pivot uh, and like I said pivot can be any point in array I'm going to select the first index so let's take a moment and talk about the time complexities you should also know why it is considered to be uh, a good sort or sorting algorithm so uh, the time complexity of quicksort is big O n log n uh, in the best case and then n log n in the average case and then uh, n is square in the worst case and because it has the best performance uh, in the average case so it is generally considered the fastest algorithm uh, and the easiest way to describe n log n is that every time n increases by an amount k the time increases by k divided by 2 basically the half of uh, the amount of n uh, and then you multiply n with k divided by 2 now that this is clear let's uh, continue and create a nested loop the outer loop will uh, loop through uh, the array and the inner loop uh, will loop till the pivot value now if the x is less than pivot value then we'll append x into less value array if uh, it is equal then equal value array and if it is greater than then greater uh, value array simple as that and after the outer loop we'll return a combination of all three arrays by using the plus sign and we'll use a recursion to loop again uh, and sort the left and right arrays and at the end let's add an uh, else statement and return the parameter array if uh, it is less than or equals to one now let's go ahead and call our function and uh, print the sorted array and see the output as you can see at the bottom we have our sorted array and that's about it so i hope uh, that this video was helpful if so then please drop a like and subscribe to my channel also 
press the notification bell icon so that you never miss a video uh, because I will be posting more sorting algorithm so stay tuned uh, thank you and see you all in the next one